How's it going guys? Welcome back to Gary's Mod, and today we're going to be taking a look at this really cool map. I don't know what it is about this map, but it just oozes personality. Wait, what the? What is that? Alright guys, give me one sec. We're going to go ahead and check this out. I've never seen this NPC before. <laughs> if that intro made you cringe, please leave a like and subscribe. This is the Inyumi Smiley Next Bod. So what does this thing do? Because I have never heard of this thing a day in my life. Apparently it's from Roblox. I play a lot of Roblox with my son, which by the way, Jason, if you're watching this buddy, how's it going? But this is definitely a little bit on the uh, weird as hell side. It plays a distorted version of, I believe, Pac-Man's theme, which is why I'm constantly talking so I don't get a copyright strike. But another thing that's interesting, this thing is absolutely terrifying. Why is it terrifying? Well, let's go ahead and let it loose, and I think you guys will understand exactly what I mean. The walking animations are creepy, the music is incredibly creepy, and the jump scares are creepy. But this NPC is a lot more than what meets the eye. The thing that I love about this NPC so much is that it's kind of an evolution of the next bot in a way, at least the chasing kind that we're used to. You saw that! This motherfucker can jump! Now that is extremely scary to me, because usually these next bots cannot jump. Now, obviously the more typical things like, well, hiding behind a door is not really going to save you, because the second he finds you, that door is not going to be there anymore. Now one thing I do like about this next bot though, which is not something you typically see in many, is that he's not just going to constantly hound you down the entire map. I heard a door break down, what in the world? He does actually have to have line of sight, and I really do love that. That makes this feel a lot more immersive. As you can see, he doesn't even know where we are, although now he probably does. Uh, you having some trouble there, man? All right, we're going to go ahead and try- <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh! How did he open that door? This man's got to be playing with me. Hold the hell up. I knew he could bust down doors. I did not know he could open- well, doors like that. This map is honestly really good for next bot, so guys, I do recommend giving it a shot. It does have a nav mesh and AI nodes. Also, it's just the layout of the map is really... My god! This thing is a freak! We have absolutely got to make sure we do not let it catch us. He is getting stuck on the railing here, which is unfortunate. You'd think he'd jump. He typically does do that. Let's go ahead and see if we can get him unstuck, though. Oh god. Mistakes were made, so you might think that you're safe, you know? Like, we're in this area, there's no way he can get to us. But he can. Because what you're seeing is absolutely true. This next bot can crouch. I don't know why, I just think that is really, really cool. So, they made it to where, no matter what happens, this smiley dude is going to get to you. And something about that just really does keep me up at night. He does tend to get stuck on some things on this map, um, which is really weird because when I did some testing, he was not getting stuck on anything. Although again, like even being up here, you can see he is bunny hopping his way to victory, which by the way, yes, you can do that with this NPC. Let's go ahead and see if we can juke him around. Now, if you thought that was scary, well, boy, oh boy, do I got something for you. This is the depraved smiley. I think we can all agree that he is a lot scarier than the standard one. He's also quite a bit bigger. By quite a bit, I mean like more than twice the size. Now apparently this one also has its own theme when it chases you. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, that is loud. I'm gonna go ahead and mute. Oh my god, that did not just happen. He actually crouches underneath objects. That... That is crazy. Guys, I'm sorry for my overreaction, but seriously, I, I have not tested this NPC yet. That music is incredibly terrifying. I definitely recommend you guys keep it on when you do try to hide from this thing. Oh my god, the glowing eyes. What can you really even say about this? Okay, we might be in some trouble. Oh! Wait. Oh, there he is. Okay, the music is actually, uh, without it, it's even scarier because now I don't know where he is. Surely he can't fit inside this door, right? Right? Oh god, he's gonna come- Oh my god, there he is. He's gonna come busting through this door, watch. Just watch. Oh. Oh! That should not be allowed! Alright, that should not be allowed, but apparently he can fit through the narrowest of corridors, which means that you're not gonna hide from this thing. I thought the crouching animation was creepy on the other guy. It's just plain disturbing on this one. 
Now guys, you all know me, I typically do not do showcases on these kinds of NPCs, just because, well, I think we can all agree that there's plenty of other YouTubers that are doing the job just fine. But I had to do a video on this one because, one, the creator, I mean, he knocked it out of the park. Like, this really is some scary stuff, and this NPC really does actually act intelligent. As you can see, like, no matter where you go, you cannot hide from this thing. Alright, now we could have just, well, done the entire video doing that, but I really did want to show off the possession, because the thing that really does separate this next bot from many others is the animations. And I also just wanted to showcase that, yes, you can actually possess them. You're going to notice that the turning animations are procedurally generated, which gives it this oddly lifelike feel to it. Or, I guess, in my case... Mr. Noodle Eggs. And it just, it gives some real life to this guy. Like, no matter how sharp you turn or move around, it feels oddly natural, and I really do like that. Now, one of the real reasons why I did want to showcase this on this map, though, check this out. We have a swimming animation! Now, it's a little wonky, and it doesn't always want to work. Specifically because, well, I think he just kind of prefers to, well, walk underwater. But let's go ahead and see what his other animations do. So jumping, he does have his own jumping animation, and he even has his own falling animation, which I can showcase by simply falling from this edge here. All right, let's go ahead and see what this looks like, and... Nice. All right, so although this next bot does prefer to, well, kill you with its kill animation, it does have its own melee attacks. Go ahead and take another look at that, left click. It's going to just smack him. Ah, there's something so satisfying about just slapping Odessa around like that. Right click is going to be the execute or the jump scare, which he just kind of throws you away. Now get this, I didn't even get a chance to see this when I was running away from him, but using the R key allows him to throw rocks, which explode. Oh, you trying to hide? Well, that's okay. I have my dynamic crouch animation. All right, next up we have the T. And that's going to be the slam attack. I don't know why the next bot decided to not use any of these moves when it was fighting me, but I think this is primarily made, well, for fighting other NPCs or for, well, possession. Next up we have the dodge key, which I didn't even showcase. But as you guys can see, he is able to dodge left and right. Well, so far he's not really, oh my God, there it is. And that is the most terrifying thing I have ever seen. In fact, it's almost like he doesn't even want to be within our cursor. If only there was a mod that made NPCs avoid your crosshair. Well, hold the hell up now. How much health does this guy have? Oh, and also, if you guys want to have some real fun, try first person mode. It's definitely an experience. And there you have it. So overall, I gotta say... Guys, I love this NPC. Like, I normally don't like these kind of next boss, especially the ones from Roblox or just, you know, these goofy, weird ones. I really like this guy. I love the animations, I love how creepy it is, and I love how well it works to actually chase down, well, its prey. But if you guys feel the same way, you can leave a like, subscribe, you guys know the drill. Thank you all so much for watching this, until the end, I'll see you guys in the next video, and until next time, thanks for watching, and farewell.